So I'm currently in Jersey, still in Jersey, my home island in the British Isles off the northwest coast of France. As lovely as it is here, man do I want to get back on the road. I never thought that I would be here for this long. In this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about what it's like to be back in the island and also what's going on with the visa situation, why I'm trapped here. That's all coming up. How do you like that new Combi Life logo? Little bit of animation there. Jersey, Jersey. Super quick recap for the people that have just subscribed to Combi Life. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Um, driving the Combi from Chile to Alaska, finally arrived in Alaska, blew up my transmission, had to leave Alaska, left on a sailboat. That was epic, check that out. Then, what happened next? Let me yeah. explain this visa situation to you. Basically, because I have a British visa, I get 90 days to go to the States, which is all right, unless you're trying to cross the entire country in an old Volkswagen. That's when you have problems. That's why I'm traveling to London. So as I was in the States a lot last year on my free 90 day visa, visa waiver program, they basically told me that I need to leave and get a proper visa if I want to come back. Unfortunately, my embassy is in London and that is why I've come to London to sort this out. which some of you quite a lot of you are aware of is that when I returned to London they said no they said no you can't have a visa I was told I wasn't allowed a visa because basically I'm some kind of nomadic vagabond without any ties to any particular country and they think I want to emigrate to the USA that's the short version Ben shared his bus with more than a hundred people along the way and has promised to give it away to one of his followers at the end of his journey. And as for his dog, Alaska, she's in Canada waiting for the day they can finally explore the last frontier together. Emily. Oh, poor puppy. Daniela, did the U.S. Embassy tell him how long he has to wait to reapply? Well, there's no set time frame, but they say the longer the better. They want him to establish social and economic ties to his home, meaning get a job with a contract, go to school, or sign a lease and rent. Basically prove to them that he's invested in a life outside of the U.S. Now, he did tell me that in his seven years of traveling, he's never overstayed a visa. All right, thanks, Daniela. Following the rules, but still getting burned. What a bummer. Hope he makes it back. Quite the story. Since I was on the Alaskan News and... Um, news broke about me not being able to come back to Alaska to pick up the combi and continue and finish the journey. All of you guys went crazy and wrote to your senators and congressmen, which um, had a big effect. Lots of you have um, prompted them into writing to the US immigration, but unfortunately it's a bunch of bureaucratic BS and um, not really a great deal has happened. Also had some lawyers in, in the States, in Florida, helping me out and advising me about what to do. So anyway, basically I'm going to be reapplying for my tourist visa in the next couple of weeks, which I am really, really nervous about. I was nervous about it before and now I'm really, really nervous. Because if they say no, how I'm going to get that combi back, I have no idea. I'm oh, honestly, I'm, I've been stressed about it. I'm not. I'm not just like playing that up. Quit your moaning, Ben. Tell us about Jersey. So, like I said, Jersey is a nine mile by five island. It's tiny but awesome. I plan to make a few videos showing you the island because I guarantee you it will be one of the most interesting places you've ever heard about. But for now, here's just a little tease. The maximum speed on our roads is 40 miles per hour with some lanes just 15 miles per hour. The roads are two-way, but many of them only have enough room for one car. That makes us the most courteous drivers in the world. Fact. Let's see if I can get away with vlogging whilst driving. Maybe I'm not the best example. Having such slow roads isn't everyone's cup of tea, so occasionally they close off a road or two and let us flex our mechanical muscles. I've lived off the island for seven years with no more than a backpack of clothes. 
I was shocked to see how many clothes I have from my previous life, so I put 90% of them in a box and sent them to Romania where they're more needed. The entire time that I've been home, I haven't turned on the TV in my room once. Coming home has shown me that I've definitely changed since I've been away. I'm gonna get my first surfing jersey in pretty much forever. <laughs> my surfboard that I bought just before I went traveling to learn on <laughs> is here and has been here for seven years in the garden. Oh my God, it's got a hole in the end of it, but whatever, it should float, it'll do. Oh, sorry. These things died a long time ago. The slug, he's alive. Oh, no way. <gasps> That's gross. Oh, look at that. You just shouldn't have to do this when you want to go surfing. So glad I've got this wetsuit. I borrowed it off my dad's neighbor. I don't have a wetsuit at home. It fits me. It's not a winter suit, but it's better than going in in my speedos. I won't be taking you with me because basically it's a winter surf, which means I'm going to be in, wave and out. And there's no time for faffing about with GoPros. So see you on the flip side. Hopefully we survive. Oh my days, that was cold. Oh, I literally can't feel my hands. I'm freezing. Oh, it's so worth it. It's been good to see family and friends. These days it's extremely rare for me to see people that I already know. That's pretty weird, isn't it? My friends have got married since I've been away. They've had kids, plural. It's been really good to see them. I wish I could see them more, but I have itchy feet and big plans for combi life. I've known this family all my life. Beverly cooks the best Sunday roast and Yorkshire puddings on the planet. Everybody got pigs in blankets? I didn't get one. Okay. Ben, have you got one? I have two. Hannah? And I am so happy. <laughs> Make a wish. I wish for a US visa. <laughs> it's also been great to spend time with my mum. While she doesn't really make Yorkshire puddings, she's still a pretty special lady. My time of living in Jersey, this is the first time I've actually walked this way. I didn't know that all these bunkers were here from the Second World War. All these steps being dug in for everybody to walk. It's amazing, isn't it? You can live on a small island, nine by five, and still have things to discover after 50, 60 years. You're not that old, are you, Mum? <laughs> wow. My mum's right there. There's a lot of bunkers here. Jersey was actually occupied for five years during World War II by the Germans. So the island is literally covered with war bunkers and old cannons from the 40s. It made a great place to explore when I was growing up, and it still is today. Hello! One of the best things about living at home is the fact that we just have to come downstairs. The breakfast is already being prepared. This is what British people eat for breakfast. What's going on? That black pudding, it's fried pig's blood for breakfast. Fried pig's blood. <laughs> and we think other people are weird. As if the breakfast weren't a good enough reason to come home. One of my absolute favorite things about Jersey is the Jersey cow. We are very lucky to have this pedigree beast on our island. All around the world in the supermarkets you have Jersey milk, but this is the real thing. These cows eat less grass than a regular cow, but produce milk of the finest quality. It has 18% more protein, 20% more calcium, and gives us bones like you wouldn't believe. Thank you, Jersey cow. I think this might be the same cow. Is that you? You're famous, mate. Thanks for all the good times and the strong bones, guys. It's been winter whilst I've been home, but I've been here long enough to see one of my favourite times of the year. And the entire island is covered in daffodil flowers. It puts a smile on my face every day. 
I've also been here long enough to see the Jersey Royal Potatoes come out, our world class spuds that are unique to Jersey are grown on our steep coastal hillsides. It rarely snows here, but during the coldest months it feels like half of the island is wrapped in a special protected microclimate to ensure that the Jersey Royals survive the frost. The Jersey people take agriculture seriously, so I was pleased that I was home in time to join in another local custom. This is wassailing. What happens is, a few words are spoken, and then a lot of noise is made. And the idea of all that noise is to scare away all the evil spirits from the orchard that might stop the apples from growing properly. Apples are fine in themselves, but of course, mainly, they make cider. That's what we're really interested in. Blow well and bow well, and so merry let us be. Let every man drink up his cup and shout to the old apple tree. What's up? Definitely going to be some good apples this year. I know. Weird, isn't it? So in Jersey I've mainly been working to save up money so that I can afford to travel again for a little bit longer. It's pretty cool. That's stunning. That's the one great thing about Jersey is no matter where you are stuck in traffic you can see an ocean view. <laughs> I can probably count on my fingers the number of times I've spoken to my old man in the last eight years. So it's been great to be able to work with him and see where I get my bad habits from. My dad's an electrician, so he taught me a lot of new skills over winter. I also got to see a lot of the island. I think I've seen more of my island in the past few months than I have in my whole life. Um, I've been working at this site, putting in the electrics for this lady in her mansion at the east of the island, back home. Just their bathroom. You could fit two combis in here. And uh, the whole time that I've been there, there's been this thing that I really have just discovered and I wanted to share it with you. I can't believe this is here. Just discovered it on my lunch break the other day. Now to some of you that might just look like a bunch of rocks. That is a dolmen, 6,000 years old. It's a bit of history. So working has had its good side. What's not been good is being stuck here whilst Alaska is in Canada with Leah, which really, really, really sucks. If I thought I had to leave Alaska for this long, I'm not sure if I would have left. Maybe I should have just stayed in America, overstayed my visa, finished my project and be on to doing another country by now. But that's not what's happened. Um, Leah has just sent in an update of how they are getting on in Canada. For those of you that don't know, I picked up Alaska in Peru. I've been living with her for like over 1300 days camping and traveling and just having the best time and now I've had to be separated from her for a few months and it's just really hard because she's my sidekick you know. I miss them, I want to get back to them, I can't believe I've been away for this long. I'm going to meet a friend now, Sadie, who I haven't seen since I started traveling eight years ago. We're going to go and kayak to a 200 year old tower, should be pretty cool, I've never been there so. Thought I'd take you guys with me. Adventure ready. It's not Alaska, but... There it is. We made it. Good to be on an adventure. Especially with the stars. I mentioned earlier that Jersey was covered in World War II bunkers. Well, the island is also covered with fortifications and castles dating much further back. This is a Napoleonic era tower. Around 200 years ago, so-called Martello Towers were erected around the island. There are also forts and even castles dating back over 600 years. The majority of the island defences were built to scare off our neighbours, the French. But that was before we knew how good their cooking was. You'll notice that many of the forts are built out at sea. That's because Jersey has one of the biggest tides in the world. A 40 foot tide means our island almost doubles in size twice every single day. 
It's really cool. You have to see it to believe it. At one moment, you can walk forever to get to the sea. The next, the ocean will be crashing against the sea wall. This gives us a lot of great seafood, especially mussels and oysters. But can you imagine what these tides do to our fishing boats? This is our harbour at low tide. All of the boats rest on the sea bottom. Can you see that black water line on the pier there? That's where the boats float when it's high tide. Crazy, isn't it? It's been great to be home and catch up with friends and family. Every time I return, I appreciate even more how lucky I am to have grown up here. I am now a world citizen, a digital nomad in every true sense of the word, but Jersey will always be my home.